Assalamualaikum Welcome back to Edukongsi I'm Dr. Faiz and in this video I'm going to show you how to create a student's portfolio or student activity recording using uh, Google Sites okay let's begin so in you can simply search for Google Site or you can type in on your uh, URL here sites.google.com okay it will bring you to the Google Sites page so make sure you log in to your uh, personal or work account so if your lecturer asks you to uh, log in into your student account you can do that otherwise you can also use your personal account okay so if you look at this uh, first page you can start uh, creating your portfolio uh, by clicking the templates or you can start from blank so I suggest you can start right away using uh, templates okay for example you can pick this first one I think I like this first one so it will generate automatically a template for you right so it's already uh, arranged in a way that the, the, the fonts and also the color are suitable lah, right so basically if for example uh, your lecturer asked to you for to create a portfolio for a project for example so basically you can just write your project title right project title and also you can add for example uh, from uh, group one for example right uh, like that okay so you don't worry if the, the, the font is kind of uh, you have spacing weird spacing right here you can actually look at the preview okay how it will look like in the website so basically you are doing you creating websites okay so it can be accessed from your laptops or you can access it from your phone right so they have different kind of uh, different views for your uh, different device okay so after this you don't need to actually send any files or any slides to your lecturer basically you can just send your uh, web page as uh, assignments or project uh, uh, report okay so that's nice okay? so basically you can uh, edit uh, the content for example you write a description of your for example here is of your uh, project what the project is all about right maybe for example and then uh, you can actually for the for example this one is button right so you can actually whether you can delete it or, or you can use it to direct the page to your content right for example uh, your lecturer have uh, several tasks uh, for you to complete right so you can actually uh, put the task here at the, at the front page you have several tasks you need to complete so you can actually edit for example this is the task one okay task one and what the, ta the task one is all about you can type it here and then uh, maybe the following week we have uh, task two to complete so you can write task two here all right so the content of the task one you can uh, you can create a different page for that how to do that you can go up here up the uh, top right you can click on pages and then you can actually add the content of your tasks or projects or whatever right so basically you can change this right so you want to create a, a different page for your task for example you have task here right and then in this page it has a summary of that all that task all right so we have project uh, you can change it into task one yeah task one task two task three and four on and so forth and the content of this task one you can add in the page project itself for example you have already created uh, project one here so basically you can just click and drag into project drag it Ah, so basically it become the subtopic of the project ah, right so this one I, I want to uh, uh, to change the title into task for example ah, you can do that 
or whatever title you want to use you can do that and then uh, for the task one you can just edit the title here task one right right when you click this and you will direct into your task one pages right for example this is the task one and then you can uh, maybe copy paste what are the tasks is for and right? what is uh, the goals and the content that you are needed to uh, submit uh, so the content could be anything lah you can submit your youtube video recording you can submit your files you can submit your pictures uh, depending on the task given all right so you can edit all this uh, information here suitable to your task Right, for example, you want to add uh, uh, the following task. For example, you have task 2, task 3. All you have to do is from the first task page here, on the right side here, you have a three dot button here. You click it. You can either click add a sub page. Basically, what I do is we'll, we'll create a different page. And you can write a task 2 page here. And it will create a different page. Uh, page lah, eh? right? So basically, if you do this, the 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 page will be blank lah. Basically, if you want to have a shortcut for that, you can click task one. Right, it have already the, the formatting that you you did previously. You can also click on the three button for task one here. You click uh, duplicate page. Uh, so basically, this is sort of like a, a duplicate slide lah in uh, PowerPoint, right? You can duplicate the slide and then you can. Uh, edit lah the slide okay right so you have task 3 for example here see so you have task 3 already have the same formatting all you have to do is just change the content of the task all right okay if you want to go back to the main page you can click home here and this is your main page uh, so you can uh, actually edit your main page so this is basically your the front page the first impression of your uh, portfolio so it's quite important so you can use your creativity to to like to to change the 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 layout but for me i think the templates already do that job for you but but maybe you want to change uh to personalize your web page you can change the image for example here you can select image or upload image right uh, they have different different kind of uh, pictures here you can select and it will change the background so you will have the personalized feel to your web page Okay, that's the first, the first and the second one, and the third one. This is also important. This is the the information about your teams. Okay, so basically you can change this is to your uh, group member or team member, right? So I change maybe like group member, group members, right? Uh, right. So you can change that. You can also change over here instead of contact you can change you can click on properties here you can change into group members all right okay and you can actually uh, put uh, some uh, you know uh, like a motto for your team or group to show what is the is the what is the philosophy behind your team and then the information about your Team, okay so this one you can actually put your 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 pictures inside all right you can select and so you can upload from the YouTube uh, you can upload from your laptop or you can add it from the uh, Google image so if your picture so you can upload it for to your laptop lah, from your laptop lah, eh? you can click here and click upload okay this one for example you have two too many right maybe if your your team have only four you can actually enlarge this okay you can you can you can actually change the ah uh, the the arrangement right uh, it's 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 all personalized so you can change based on your creativity as you can you can actually uh, delete this right uh, if, if it's too, too many of it you can just arrange it to your liking all right so you can add in your information maybe your your expertise right if and your contact number and so on and so forth all right you can ask your lecturers for your for any details okay i think that's about it uh okay so before i finish this video i want to show you how you want to publish the uh web page okay basically if you want to share this web page to your 
lectures or to your friends all you have to do is you click the publish button on the top right here so you can pick the web address so basically if you are from UTHM domain you have this kind of uh, URL basically you can just pick your web address maybe you are from group 1 or you have a certain name for your group maybe right so you can click you can write that and then you can just click publish okay all right so if you if you click once you click publish you where we want to see that you can either click here view button or you can click on the right side of the publish now we have a small button here you click that and then you can click on the view publish site all right so this is your publish site all right the page that we created just now all right uh, so you have all the information that we just uh, edit okay so if you want to send your your activity or portfolio to your lecturers all you have to do is you click on the url on, on top here you can copy it and then you can send it to your uh, google classroom or you to whatsapp to whatever ways that lecturers your lecturers can uh, see or monitor your uh, progress in the portfolio okay i think that's all for how to use uh, google sites as your student portfolio so all the best and take care everyone. Assalamualaikum.